This is the power supply that's in the uh, Miracle Grow Aero Garden. It's a um, switching power supply, 24 volts, two and a half amps. Its um, substrate is made of what's called Chem 3. Um, this is a material that was used in the 80s and 90s. I, I had uh, been involved with designing power supplies during that time frame, and uh, it's very low cost. That's why people use it. It's um, commonly uh, in Asia and uh, low cost regions of the world used to reduce the cost. Unfortunately, um, this material has a very high expansion rate compared to like a laminate uh, FR4 flame retardant uh, multi-layer laminate circuit card that's designed to last a little longer. I was in a, an advanced manufacturing group at Compact um, where we did tests on this material and it was um, shown to uh, basically after um, so many thermal cycles have a lifetime of about four to five years. So it's, I know there's other videos which show like these capacitors fail um, on an other designs, which is entirely possible, but the more likely root cause is a solder joint, um, probably on one of these surface mount components. But over time, it only takes one joint. It's the Achilles heel and, and the, the entire circuit stops to work. And it's the beginning of the end. You can repair one of these solder joints, but it'll inevitably crack again and fail. So the best thing to do is just replace it with a, a new power supply. This is the light assembly used on the Aero Garden, um, which is comprised of uh, what I've counted, 287 LEDs, um, which I estimate to be about 60 watts. It's a 24 volt uh, power supply here at uh, two and a half watts. So what I've done is extracted the original power supply, which would um, be exposed to about 60 watts of heat uh, on a regular uh, thermal cycle. Um, depending on what you're, you're growing, it'll turn the unit off um, every 24 hours. So you're constantly heating and cooling it off, which stretches this power supply. Um, not ideal even behind this aluminum substrate to uh, to have long-term life. Um, however, this assembly is uh, fairly robust. Um, there's not much that can go wrong unless you don't uh, manage the heat on it. To remove it, you take these four screws out. And there's another four screws that hold the power supply. I've simply extracted that. I've uh, cut the uh, mains power supply from it and um, cut the uh, circuit away from the these uh, hookup wires. The red represents the positive and the, um, the white represents the negative of the circuit. I've hooked this um, coaxial uh, two and a half millimeter power supply connector female and so, so I can plug in this, this male two and a half millimeter into this um, to replace the uh, internal power supply with this external power supply, which you can buy this on Amazon, and it comes with this little um, adapter. It's almost like it was designed for this purpose. It's actually used for um, LED strip lighting in, in houses. You can buy um, bigger supplies if you think you need more. Even um, this one gets a little warm, but it is... Um, it will be mounted externally. Another plus is that it has this um, AC connector, which is exactly the same as what you see on the, the miracle Grow um, unit. It plugs directly into this, so it will provide 120 volts AC into the switched on and off by the controller, and the output will be um, the 20 volt DC, two and a half amp supply to the um, LED assembly. So this is the output of the Aero Garden um, that controls the light source. Normally it plugs right into the LED assembly, but instead I'm gonna have it plug into this 24 volt brick. It plugs right into it, same. And then you take the coaxial DC output. I, I like to give a few turns around the 
the wrap here um, just to give it some strain relief uh, when I attach it so it won't fall loose from the coax. Okay, this is the power supply and this is the connector. And now I got this mounted on the stand and I just connect these two together and should be ready to go.